Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing my first half of 2019 empties video. So I know that my 2018 empties was kind of a bit late but now I'm trying to do it as often as I can so that I don't kind of compile them all together. It's going to be a long video. So today I'm trying to make it a very short and quick one. So let's get started. So let's start with skincare. So first up is this cleansing oil that I bought when I was in Japan and this is the Matsukiyo cleansing oil. It has a very thick oil but it doesn't leave that um, oil film on your face right after washing it and I find that right after using this cleansing oil my face is a lot brighter for some reason like it just gives your face that bright effect right after washing it so something that I can honestly say that's really good so if you guys are visiting Japan go and grab this in one of their drugstore shops I can't remember what where I bought this but seriously guys this is a really good one and next up is toner so I have two toners Toners that I've already emptied finally and this is the Sam Botanica Rose Moisturizing Toner so you guys know that I've raved about this product a lot so this is a really big bottle like it took me so long to actually get through and finish this one it is kind of an essence type that really moisturizes your skin so it doesn't leave your skin with that dry um, dry feeling so something that's really good I can honestly say that this has also been my go-to uh, for like about a year. I think I've been using this for a year now, but yes, this is really, really good. So you guys should check this out. Another toner that I've really loved and you guys have heard me rave about this is the Nacific Fresh Herb Origin Toner. So it's honestly really empty and I was really sad that this is already gone. Um, I'll, I'm still going to repurchase this just because this is really one of the products that's been instrumental in really bringing back my skin to its natural state. Next product is a serum that's also from Nacific and this is something that you guys have also heard from me quite a few times and this is their Fresh Herb Origin Serum. So this is something that not a lot of people really love. For some reason, some people um, is highly reactive to this um, serum just because it's a bit oily in some way and it's a bit prickly for some people. But for me, this is really, really good. Like use it together with the toner and it just gave me that nice skin. So for some reason, this too um, really transformed my skin and brought it back to its natural state. I've been saying it quite a few times because it really did um, help a lot. So something that you guys should check out if your skin is really highly damaged. And next product is another The Sem product and this is the um, Marcel Marseille Olive Waterproof Lip and Eye Remover. So this is almost empty so I'm including this here because I think I'm going to empty this in just a few more weeks. So this is a really good one, something that I really love just because it's not just your typical um, oil and water kind of um, makeup remover. I just love this because it's just, I don't know, it works for any waterproof makeup. So something that I would highly repurchase if this has a good deal. So this is the Sam. And for my eye cream, I've been using this Innisfree Eco Science Wrinkle Eye Cream. So this has been with me for like forever for some reason and it's finally empty and I can really say that this is a really good eye cream although I would say that the Innisfree Jeju Orchid eye cream is so much better but I think this is also good in some way. So I think this is highly uh, targeted for those wrinkle areas like on the, your crow's feet and you can also put it over here. So I've been using this on those areas as well so this is really good not too creamy not too greasy so something that you guys could actually use on your face as well so highly recommend as well if you guys would ask me whether i would repurchase not really just because i wanted to try other eye creams next product is something that i've been using to spot treat my acne or my pimples last year and i've actually emptied this product um and this is the etude house ac clinic intense red spot balm. So I've been using this to spot treat some of my angry red pimples. So I've been spot treating it with this one. You guys would ask me whether I would repurchase it. Not really because I didn't really see an effect of this product, you know, lessening the redness on my pimples. I can say that the Jumi Saw Snail and Centella Cream is so much better than this one but I think some people have said that it's actually effective for them but for me it didn't so not going to repurchase this. Now moving on to makeups, first up is this Color My Brows and this is both the number one and number three. 
So I've already emptied this one and I've already repurchased a new one of this one. It's really, really good. Something that I've been using often in my brows. This has always been my staple and definitely will repurchase this every single time. And now for cushions, I have three cushions and these are some of the cushions that I should have included in my previous empties video, but I forgot. So I'm including it here. So my first, um, cushion that I've emptied is this Misha, the original Tension Pack Perfect cover. So you guys know that this is my ultimate favorite cushion. I've actually created a video for my best cushions ever and I'll put a link somewhere up here and you guys could check that out. But guys, this is really one of my favorite and will definitely repurchase a refill if I have a chance. It's just that I have a lot of cushions that I have to get through. So not really going to buy the refill anytime soon, but something that I would definitely, definitely buy. The next one is another one of those cushions that is included in my um, favorite cushion list. And this is the Misha Gimsul Vitalizing Tension Pack. So this is more on a hydrating kind of cushion and I think this is perfect for very matured skin. But for me, I love this during winter. So I've been using this um, during those colder weathers and it's already empty and something that I would honestly buy as well. You guys could check out my review that I did for this cushion. I remember not really liking it at first, but then eventually I started liking it. Like the finish was actually so much better and it just gave me that nice um, hydrated skin. So definitely will repurchase the refill if there's a chance. Another cushion that I've tried, which I probably won't be repurchasing next time is the, um, the Sam Eco Soul cushion. I don't really remember what type of cushion this is, but it's the pink one. Um, this is actually kind of good as well, but I wouldn't say that it's really very, very good to the point that it really stuck in my mind, but it's something that is just a cushion um, and it just gave me that nice dewy look, but not something that really is very striking. Probably won't repurchase this just because I wanted to try new cushions as well. That's it guys for my empties video and it's actually kind of short and quick and I kind of like it. Um, I'm sure that you guys love it too because most of my videos I kind of just blab a lot. And I'm sorry guys, but I just wanted to be really thorough with most of my reviews and most of my videos. But this time around, I really made it really quick and I hope that you guys find it really good. And if you guys do, uh, please hit the like and hit subscribe. And if you guys have any questions with, for me for any of these products, as always, you guys could ask me. Uh, just leave me a comment below and I will definitely speak to you guys very, very soon. Bye.